After you subscribe, do not forget to hit that notification button so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Enjoy! What is up guys, ladies and gentlemen, boy Victory, thank you gaming, and we are back, fellas. We are back. Finally, Emma with the Show 20 is out, and guys, I'm really excited, and today, we're gonna go into Road to the Show, and I'm gonna show you guys how to create your player. Most of you guys are new to Emma with the Show uh, itself, so this is your first uh, game that you guys buy, so I kind of want to give you the inside outs of how to create your player in Road to the Show, so you can go ahead and start that and make your path to the major leagues now this is live so if there's anything new compared to other games we're gonna see it together for the first time if not it's pretty straightforward and it'll be pretty simple for me to explain what to do and you guys will be able to you guys will be able to create this um, road to the show character easy so the first thing it is where you're from so obviously they have a bunch of countries here to choose from and of course I'm from Puerto Rico so we're gonna look at that flag so Puerto Rico next thing you have is your position so whatever you want to be for the purpose of this video we are going to be I think this year I'll third baseman or shortstop now this year we're gonna be shortstop there's not that many good shortstops in the league actually I, I'm lying they are but let me see if I play with the Mets what do they need they need a third baseman so you know what we're gonna do a third base right after you choose your position of course you have to choose um, your name and your jersey number so I'm a huge Mets fan so that means I'm a huge David Wright fan so we're gonna put five that's my number and of course, we are gonna put my name. So I don't know if you guys can see me in putting my name, but if not, bear with me a little. And then put my last name, because you know, this is how we roll. And yeah, so after that, you're gonna click next station. Now this is pretty straightforward. Throw your hand right. Usually I do switch when it comes to any create player that I that I do so so here we are guys so this is the new new one because this was not this was not in last year's I believe correct me if I'm wrong put it in the comment section below but I think this ones were not so first we have pure power so it shows you the green is your strength uh, your your yellow is you're okay there but weaknesses of course if you're a power hitter and they show Joey Gallo and Adam Dunn. They struck out a lot, but they hit 50 bombs almost every year. So that's one. Next thing we got small ball. And they got Brian Roberts and Jeff McNeil. So your contact and speed. Oh, speed. Wow. Speed fielding ceiling is kind of your, your thing. Um, I don't see Jeff McNeil as that, but that's interesting. Then you have your contact, your strength. Um, and of course your power is your weakness because you're, you're, you're playing small ball. You know, it's about speed, fielding, and contact. Now, if you, uh, when you're here, if you press R1, it kind of shows you um, so you can toggle through the att attributes real quick. So it kind of shows you right there, the other attributes. But these are the main, the main ones right here that you need to know. So then we got Rocksteady. Oh, John Allerud and DJ LaMahieu. Interesting. Batting clutch, fielding, play vision. So these are new ones, unless they have to be new ones because John Oliver wasn't in the game last year. So mainly contact, you got contact, and of course fielding and batting clutch. So John Oliver, DJ LeMay, you know for fielding, this is good. Paul Mater and Keten Marte. Wow. This is kind of like Mr. Utility, does everything. So your strengths are contact. I'm thinking I'm going with that power, but let's continue. The anomaly. Now, this is a rare combo of rare power and speed. So, they got Ronald Acuna and Willie Mays. This was this was here last year. Uh, they had the kid. I forgot who was the other player. But speed, power, contact is a weakness. But batting clutch, building, and reaction. So, your strengths are speed, power, and defense. So, pretty much this is a five-tool player. So, if you compare that, power starts at 50. 
we compare that with the power. That power starts at 60. Um, we know speed. Now we're at third base. We want to be in the middle of the lineup. So I don't think we need the anomaly. This is more for the outfield if you want to do that. But we are definitely going to do pure power. I'm a huge Joey Gallo fan. Adam Dunn, I, I, I see him play. Um, and he was just a beast. So we're going to go with that pure power. After that, we go to our personality traits. So you get to choose from Lightning Rod, Maverick, Captain, Heart and Soul. So I'm going to let you guys, if you guys want to go and read um, what they have, you guys can go ahead and do that. And I'll pause the video. But I think I already know what I want. But let's see. This is kind of new. All right. So we're going to go Heart and Soul. Captain and of course we're gonna go with Lion Rock so so that was the first thing the personality uh, pretty much who you are essentially where you're from what you're gonna play the type of player you're gonna be so that was that was that part so we're gonna go we're gonna go into the create the player part uh, with the you know the appearance the equipment and things like that so let's get right into it guys let's just get right into it so first of all name you already did that so you should be fine and then you can preview the audio Victor Miranda so if your name is there they have a bunch of names that they add, keep adding every year you'll be able to hear your name and that's pretty awesome because you know you're playing you're playing the MLB and then they, you hear your name it's kind of like a dream come true pretty much <clears throat> when we talk about that but physical appearance is pretty much the same so we're gonna go now kind of I'm kind of dark skin you know what I'm saying I'm not fully dark skin but uh, I'm up there I'm up there you know what I'm saying if I if I'm out there in the Sun I get really dark so that's why we're here now usually um, I usually don't do my actual height I'm actually five six so you want to see a five-six dude playing third base? Um, that's not that's not what you want to see. So usually six-four, two-forty. If you're gonna be a power bat, and this guy looks ripped. So body type, we can go husky, but you know usually go buff, medium. In the neck. Now this right here, this is just appearance, guys. All this is appearance. It's not gonna help you. Play better is not gonna help you get better stats, but this is just appearance, and we're gonna leave it the way it is. Or no way, we're gonna look interesting. We're gonna put this up. So I think 65 should be fine. And then moving on, you got the shape of your head. There's plenty of options that you can go through, and if it's the same from last year, I already know which one I'm using. So make sure you go through all of them real quick and make sure you choose the one that kind of looks like you. Um, now, I'm not going to go into detail with the whole uh, perfecting the look. I'm just going to go with the basis of what they give you. So, you know, the head size, scale. I'm not going to I'm not gonna, I'm not going to go through all that. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, but if you guys really, really want to be precise, you guys can go ahead and do that by all means do so it's pretty straightforward and it's not that difficult to do so moving forward of course we got the hairstyle and you know I want to see if they got some new hairstyles which uh, this is interesting let's go in the back usually the, the, the crazy ones are back here uh, let's see if there's some new ones interesting the Viking all right the business class all right the twist which is probably the one I'm gonna use the dreads of course of course the curly mohawk oh this is my favorite from last year uh let's see let's see of course why not do this one you're a 20 something year old like that why not all right so there's not really that many um new styles I'm just gonna go with a fade round you know Keep it simple, keep it keep it neat. I need a haircut right now, so 
Um, I usually move this all the way to the top left, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And then the facial hair, the facial uh, hairstyle. They need to have some crazy stuff. Come on, they're slacking right now. But I usually go with what I actually have. So you guys can, you know, you guys can make the most ridiculous player ever and and you know make it fun make it fun it doesn't really have to be you you can just make this crazy player and just make it fun you know what i'm saying i usually do a or b a I usually do a and again this this one's right here you can do it yourself if you guys want eye color of course let's see uh, there you go eyebrows are used to be nothing crazy then you have the nose this is the same thing you guys can go through all the toggles and do whatever you want and, or you guys can go here press red press square and it will randomize your player and then your shoes which are, you keep pressing square until you choose something that you think is is crazy and then you do that so that that does it for physical appearance now we go for motions and sounds now Danny stands creator you pick a you, you pick a stance and then you change pretty much everything here the way you want to do it so if you like Joey Gallo's uh, batting stance but you're like you know what I don't like being that you know that wide uh, in the plate you can change that here um, you know play around with it I usually just keep just keep the batting stances the way they are I usually go former players and I look for the the really cool ones that they have um, just keep in mind we're a third baseman power hitter so we need a power stance you know what I'm saying we need a power stance for sure um, Travis Buck yeah, has some power in him Jay Buhner for sure for sure power guy Rook Haru, definitely not a power guy Sean Casey that's one of my favorite ones this is funny Ronaldo Cepeda oh Frank Catalo Nato Jeff Cirillo Will Clark another good one Crack console. Oh come on! I thought they were gonna have their crazy one. Got Damon under Dawson. That's a pretty good one. This kind of shows you also the legends are gonna be here as well. So having a crack console batting stand. That means we're gonna get a crack console. Ryan Garco. Luis Gonzalez with that crazy stance. Kyle Green. Ken Griffey of course. Ooh, Vladimir. I'm looking for a Todd Houghton. Maybe a... Oh, did, did I pass Adam Dunn? I probably did. Todd Houghton, Benny Stance. Nice, nice, nice. Tory Hunter as well. Monta, Monta Irving. Gabe Kaplan. Oh, you know what? If they have Sheffield, I'm probably going to use Gary Sheffield. If they have it. I know that, I know he's in the game, but sometimes they don't put the batting stands. But if they do... Ooh, Dave Kingman. Oh, now talk about power guy. Oh, okay. This one so far, my favorite, Dave King. But if if, if if Sheffield is there, we're gonna use it. Adam LaRoche, I remember him. My boy Kenny. So I mean, oh, Willie Mays, nice. But right now, you, you guys see the you guys see the the gist of it. Like, just go throughout, pick whoever you, you want. So I, I'm not gonna go through all of them because I already did for for many. But we're gonna see if we got if we can find Sheffield and we do. And that is who I want. Because Sheffield is cheese. So you can go here and change the rotation and everything like that the way you guys want it. I'm not gonna do that. You guys go ahead and play around with that. I just wanna show you that it's there and that you can do it. But if you wanna keep the generic or batting stands that you, you picked, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now motions, you know, running style, I usually let's see which one I use. Oh my goodness. Let's go with two. Crash style, I like one knee. It's cool like that. Swing type, I usually keep this the same. The only time I, I change the swing type to one hand or two hand is depending on this right here, which we'll see next. Which is the <coughs> home run celebration. So pretty much you choose. So do we have any new ones now? But that. So this one's the ones that are unlocked. Those ones usually 
change based on what you choose in the swing type. If you use one hand, you have some home run uh, celebrations that are like that. And so sometimes you, you buy a home run celebration and you're like, where is it with the batting stance that you picked? And it's usually you have to see the swing type so you can see it. So right now, I think we're gonna keep it simple. This is smooth, smooth as silk. Let's go as smooth as silk. We don't wanna go crazy here. Oh, oh, the style. Oh, the disrespect. Let me see. No, I like the disrespect one. That's like, you know what? I just hit your home run here. Have it. So if we're going to go Cavalier over there, we got to do it here too. What we got here? Oh, the bowling. <laughs> you can't break it there, buddy. All right. A little too excited. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. The disrespect is real. Oh, the selfie stick. The selfie stick. All right. All right. Taking that picture. Oh. Oh, the flex. He flex on him. We're going to go with the bow. And, of course, this one's... They got some crazy ones. I'm going to show you guys. Just one. You guys can see. So when you do this one in, in, in the actual game, your teammates are going to react to you like force pushing them, uh, which is pretty hilarious. But I usually go, I think it's Harry Bias. Yeah. And that's that. And then, and then music, I don't put any music, but you guys can go ahead and put any music or any uh, jeer or cheer that you, you guys want. And then after that, the equipment, of course, of course, the equipment is important. We want to have a necklace. I usually like this. High socks. Because I'm cool like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool like that. And then the glove. Oh, this, this is deal. That they have it like that. The gloves, you change the colors the way you want. I'll do that later because when I pick my actual equipment. Um, same thing with the bat. Ooh, logo. Logo color, this is new. The logo color is new, which is pretty awesome. All right, so we got new, we got something new. All right, then we got the batting glove. Of course, I'm gonna use both. Oh, look at, wow, this is new. They, oh, you can actually see. Okay, previous games, you guys don't get this. Previous games, um, you couldn't actually see what color you were changing because they kept the they kept the picture like this. So throughout your changes. That was the picture that you had, so you couldn't see the way they're doing it now. They're presenting it to you. So I'm assuming if we go to the glove, the same thing's gonna happen. Yep, you can see the inside. That is pretty awesome. For sure, for sure, pretty awesome. So helmet style, I usually go. We'll keep uh, ventilated. Uh, only one, the Shingar, of course, I like. The t some tar, you know what I'm saying? The cap normal, but the brim, I like semi-flat and yeah elbow guard I like the, the little one and of course with foot guard let's say change it let me do that nope they haven't changed much here they haven't then the R bands I really don't do much there the sleeves, the, the sleeves. both and I'll kind of there you go I do like the tape. Where's the tape at? Where's the tape? Here we go. Because, you know, that's how we do it. All right. I wear, of course, I need to wear eyewear, so I need to put my actual glasses. So that's me right there with glasses. And the cleats themselves, you put the colors if you're going to be a catcher. You go ahead and do this. And yeah, so there's my player right there, guys. And we're going to go real quick, real quick to the hair. And we're going to go somewhere. 
where I can have a little hair. Ooh, but, ooh, look at that one. My hairstyle is actually not in the game, which is pretty. Oh man. Crazy hair right there. What is this? Curly mohawk? We'll go with a curly mohawk and then we'll put some sideburns. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah guys. Um, there you have it. Pretty much that's how you create your player. Once you do this, uh, you go ahead and start the game. Uh, you press finish and then you go into the game. Um, I'll probably put uh, a video about the game itself, uh, the, the beginning stages of your um, road to the show. But this was just for you to see how to create your player. And pretty much there's plenty of options. Uh, you can randomize your appearance from out here and it will randomize everything. You pick something silly, up to you. You can go serious and go try hard and try to create your actual player, your same height, your same uh, build, your same you know fa facial structure. Um, and things like that or you, you make it simple like I did go with the ba with the basics but whatever your desire is for sure for sure you can do it here in the game so hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment subscribe to our channel follow us on twitch we're gonna start streaming some diamond dynasty so you guys can you know stay tuned with that if you follow us there make sure you hit that bell in the in the YouTube so you can you know always be up to date with our videos and there you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out. Deuces. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching our video. Please share it, leave a like, and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. But more important, guys, head over to twitch.tv slash thankyougaming99 and go follow us on our Twitch. Make sure you put that notification on so you make sure when we are live and when we're streaming so you guys can join us and have fun with us. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Thank you so much.